The Emily Carbrandt at Uptown Mall is celebrating a milestone, their 50th anniversary. And in that time, there have been major changes. This is not a quiet branch, and maybe that's something that's changed a bit. We have quiet areas, but um, more and more, this, you know, the, the idea of an animated space is very, very important. Gone is the old era of quiet, hush-hush libraries. These days, it's a recreational space for people to work. Today, I came to the library uh, to work on my resume. And play. Just talking to my buddies on Facebook. <laughs> Libraries are evolving along with technology, offering ebooks, movies, and music. People not only come to use the computers, they can rent them out too. Like something new that we're doing now is we have, um, uh, we're actually lending out tablets so people can have access to some of the electronic materials so you can borrow the medium as well as the device to, to watch it on. And while technology is changing the way people consume books, it doesn't mean they are reading any less. You've never seen more books published at any time in, the, in, in our history than right now. You know, it's quite phenomenal how many people are reading and how many people are writing. People in Victoria love their libraries and they use them. I use the library much more than I ever used to when I was a teenager. Um, I think the facility has improved quite a bit. Greater Victoria has the highest circulation per capita in the country. And with 10 branches, there are plans for expansion. A new library will open this year in the West Shore, and another one is being talked about for James Bay. And now they're much more hubs of, like here we are at Uptown, right? They're part of a, of a large um, commercial centre because it's a place that people come and actually use and, and spend time in. Branches in the region have a lot to celebrate as the future of libraries looks bright.